Hi everyone, welcome to Catherine's Plate. I'm Catherine. Thank you so much for coming to my show today. I am making a one pot meal. So I'm going to be creating a cheeseburger pasta skillet. Alright y'all, ready for this one? It's going to be simple, it's going to be easy, and as always, it's going to be delicious. So let's get started. Okay, so cheeseburger pasta is reminiscent of Hamburger Helper. And there's so many different varieties of Hamburger Helper. And it comes in a box with a little seasoning packet, the pasta, and then you provide your own meat, right? And then you would make it all in one skillet. So today, I'm bringing Hamburger Helper back in the cheeseburger form. But we don't need a seasoning packet and all of that for that. We're going to make our own, okay? So... I'm going to show you everything that you're going to need to make it. Now, this is a doubled recipe because in my family, we like to double up on recipes when we can. That way we have leftovers because people like to bring them for lunch the next day to work. After I show you all the ingredients, we're going to start building it right here. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and show you what you're going to need straight out of your pantry and refrigerator. Alright, so to get started, so what we're going to need to make our dish, we have some egg noodles here, a whole package. We've got two pounds of ground chuck. This is an 80-20. I have one diced onion, two cups of hot water, four cups of milk, some parsley, two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. This is the sharp version for that flavor. And then I got my seasoning blend here. I've got salt and pepper to taste, so it's about half a teaspoon of each. I've got four teaspoons of paprika. And then I've got some onion powder here, and I've got about two teaspoons of that. I've got two teaspoons of minced garlic. And then right here, I've got some cornstarch, and that will help bind it all together. We'll make a slurry with that a little bit later. All right, y'all, let's get making this cheeseburger pasta. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is I've got one tablespoon of butter melting in my pan here. I'm going to go ahead and add some oil to it. All right. I'm going to go ahead now and melt down my butter. We want to hear a nice sizzle when those onions go in. Oh yeah, who doesn't like a good sizzle? Alright, so I've got one onion diced. Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> Do I say that on every show? <laughs> Alright y'all, I'm going to cook these down for about three to four minutes. I'm not going to totally cook these down because they're going to finish cooking when I put the meat in here. So just give them about three minutes to get kind of soft. We'll be right back. Okay, we are right where we want to be with those onions now. They look nice in there. Go ahead and put that aside. We're going to go ahead and add our ground beef. Now, I've got about two pounds here. Remember, this is a double recipe. Okay, y'all. Here's my meat chopper. You've seen it before, or maybe you're new and you haven't seen it yet. I love using this tool for browning up ground meat like ground beef, ground turkey, ground chicken, ground pork. <laughs> you can use it for anything. So you just kind of put it in the center and start breaking it up. You put it on your meat and then you twist. Look at that. Doesn't that look nice? All right. If you like this tool, go check out my description box down below and you'll see where I get it from. Okay, y'all. I will bring you back as soon as my meat is all browned up. All right, look at that. All nice and brown now. We're going to go ahead and start adding everything in. And we're going to start with our seasonings. Salt, pepper, paprika, and onion powder. Our minced garlic. Go ahead and give that a stir. Ooh, those flavorings smell good. They do. Look at the color that that paprika makes. Oh, yeah. All right, we're going to go ahead now and add our hot water. Now, the water that I showed you earlier, it's going to be hot water because we don't want to cool this down too much. Look at this. All right, chill on. I'm adding my milk in. Look at that. 
my cornstarch I made a slurry with. I just put some water in there and used a fork and just kind of mix that up. I'm going to put that in here. That'll help thicken this up. Look at that. Looking good. Alright, now I'm using some extra broad noodles here. I'm using the whole bag. If you're going to half the recipe, just use half the bag. I'm going to start bringing my temperature up because we want this to come to a boil. Kind of mix everything together. Try to get a lot of the noodles down below so they can get into the liquid. All right, we're going to wait for it to come to a boil. Got a nice boil on it now. We're going to go ahead. I'm going to give it one more stir there, get everything down. All right, we're going to lower the heat. We want it to simmer, so we're going to put it down to medium low. We're going to put a lid on it. And we're going to cook this for 12 minutes and we're going to be right back so we can finish this up. Mmm, perfect. All right, here we go. Cheeseburger pasta. Let's give it some cheese. I've got two cups of shredded sharp cheddar cheese. All right, before I mix it, I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on it for just one minute and let that cheese melt and we'll be right back. Alright, now we're going to combine the cheese all into the mixture here. That smells so good, y'all. Nothing like using real cheese in your dish. Okay, does that look glorious or what, y'all? We did it all in one pot. Alright, I got some lovely fresh parsley here that I'm going to put on top of that. Give it some color. All right, y'all, there we go. What do y'all think? One pot cheeseburger pasta. All right, everyone, I've got my bowl. You knew I'd be fast with that one. <laughs> I got my fork also. Let's take a bite. All right, it just came out of the pot, so I'm going to be blowing on this one. Mmm. Okay. That is so delicious. You know, there's nothing like putting real cheese into a dish, right? <laughs> Not that powdered stuff. Alright. Oh my gosh, that was so good. The flavors are so rocking in here. Alright, y'all. Since this is dinner, I've got to go because I've got family to feed. <laughs> hey, give me a comment down below what you think of my hamburger dish. Cheeseburger pasta in one skillet. Give me a thumbs up. And, hey, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below with that bell notification, and you'll always know when my shows are posted. All right, y'all. I will see you on my next episode.